right. So instead of Akuma, yeah. we are seeing Ryu. I don't know whether that has any implications on the player switch rule in which uh, it costs a point to switch your character, but uh, we'll uh, defer to Stack on that as he is in our ear and will give us updates. Okay. So, Ben, do you think that a Ryu is a better pick against <laughs> yes. Dalzim than Akuma? Uh, this season, yes. Um, he Ryu has a better fireball. Um, he's always had a better fireball. He's got a better fireball. Um, and then on top of that, with the buffs that he got to, with the buffs that he got to his uh, low forward as well as his frame advantage when he's in V trigger, and specifically. Um, being able to confirm low forward into Tatsu on crouching opponents now, because Tatsu hits crouchers, um, I think that's going to make a huge difference in how you can approach uh, Dalsim offensively. But man, right now, F Champ is not making it easy, and that's not—that's what we expected. He's willing to take that throw. So we okay. are hearing that we're going to allow Samurai to use Ryu without spending a point, and if he wishes to change his character from this point on, then it will cost a point as per the typical rules. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and just just to clarify, guys, um, there, there was a little bit of a lapse in judgment, and Stack did not mention to Samurai, because his him being picked for this match was kind of last second. So uh, he, he didn't tell him that it was character locked. And so Samurai very well just may have not known the rules. And that's- He's also, you know, oh, he almost had the perfect there, which would have given him an extra point. Yeah, right. And at this point, it's one that 80, Team 801 Strider needs. Right, right. Okay, man, the confidence to just walk up and take that. Okay, first game goes to Samurai. And, you, you know, I, again, I have to, I have to wonder if, some of the uh, some of the time away from fighting games competitively is maybe making F Champ a little rusty. But again, this is an absolutely juiced to the gills Ryu this season. So uh, we will relax and see what the action pans out as as the uh, players have gone back to the lobby. And uh, I have seen F Champ streaming Street Fighter, but he's been doing things like. Uh, trying to get to Diamond with uh, different characters, which is a lot of fun to watch. So you can definitely check him out at uh, his Twitch channel is FGT Live, as many of you probably already know. Okay, so we're, we're gonna see here what's up. Um, I, so I, I don't know if... That is a point on the board now for Samurai. So yeah. I have the score as nine to eight. Um, I... Assu assuming that counted. Right. Yeah, we're we're just trying to see what uh what the status is, guys. Um, you know what? Okay, so neither one switched. Um, uh, maybe maybe just needed a moment to breathe. Uh, no worries. Round one. Okay, going into the next game, and again, uh, one on the board for Samurai. Okay, using that stand medium punch. Oh, that was a bad bad drill. Good opportunity for Samurai there. And I really like actually the V skill two usage from Samurai because that's only minus four on block. So Dalsim doesn't really get a real punish against it outside of Stam Jab, which you can't link into anything other than EX Flame. That's good to know about the V skill, and he's been getting quite a bit of mileage out of it already this far. Yeah, look, he's he's already you know he's barely at fifty percent, and he's already got uh, you know V Trigger locked and loaded. Oh yeah. man, that's both do in there. fact. Yeah. Oh, nice patience, and now he's cooking. He's able to back off, but this gives uh, this gives F Champ the opportunity to control this space, try and mix him up, and there he gets it. Okay, air reset, charges, and there's the teleport. Look at how this is turned around. Good patience, yes. Samurai. F Champ with the big lead. Oh, oh, but a chance here. Oh, he stayed in front. Oh my God, he oh. tried it. I love it. You know, in so many situations like that. He had walked up and thrown him, and that is that is like the samurai classic, you know. He taking a page out of Daigo's book, just using that confidence that he's established in neutral to control space, control time, and walk up and impose your will like that. So for him to walk up in that situation that he had seen so many times, to try and approach with, uh, you know, with the parry for the big read and the big mental damage, it you know big ball play there, but F Champ was too smart. 
He was, but I do agree that it's a very fun part of Samurai's game because he is known as a very patient, very technical player, super sound, but he is willing to make those reads in certain spots, and you'll even see him do a tattoo on your, his opponent's wake up from time to time yeah. if the situation dictates, and it's a lot of, it's a really fun part of his game, if you ask me. Yeah, for sure. And another thing, too, it's like, not only is it fun, but it's also like the mental damage is huge and, and it can't be understated right he is he's a huge proponent of sports psychology and studying the game and studying you know uh that aspect of fighting your opponent rather than fighting the character so if you get clipped with you know a, a raw tatsu or a raw dp on your wake up you're sweating oh, absolutely and even if even if whatever you do doesn't work it might make your opponent block in certain situations where they normally wouldn't which only helps your offense and going back to this fireball game gets the jump in there no dice and now back to this oh man he's getting pushed to the corner f champ has to try and fight his way out i like the stand round house there and i really love the short slide oh my gosh but the blender from samurai he's not letting up that was tough it was something as simple as a teleport that landed him on a fireball that opened up that entire sequence but he's oh, still ahead here looking pretty good I oh, that's gonna close it out. Max range off of that stand. Fears confirming into the heavy flame, and F Champ takes the second game. Yeah, that was impressive. That was a nice comeback. And I guess that's kind of how you have to play if you're Dalsim, right? You have to really maximize your spots because they don't come yeah. up as often. Exactly. Um, and, you know, that's especially true against somebody like Samurai. While he does have some of the best footsies and fundamentals in in the world, he also just, almost unlike anybody else, has a real sense for sniffing out apprehension and knowing when there's blood in the water. So he can make the Dalsim matchup, which again is traditionally in Dalsim's favor big time against Shoto's, look like a nightmare. You're seeing it a bit here as F Champ is down by quite a bit. Look at the gray life right now. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and that little forward did so much. Okay. Good, well placed fireball, and that one's gonna bounce. It's got more. It's got more durability. Amazing! Look at the look at the way F Champ is just weaving around these fireballs, using the drill, using the slide, using the float. Okay, gets the big follow up. Oh! Uh, tries the shimmyum, and F Champ is just playing patient. Look at this. He is willing to look death in the face. With that teleport right over the fireball, there's the V trigger. Oh my gosh, I love the way F Champ is. Look at this. Got him with the low. Oh my gosh, the fireball is still coming. He had to hold it. Oh. oh wow, and the yoga sniper from two character lengths away. F Champ putting another round on the board, showing that he knows how to stay comfortable under pressure. Nothing like a Dalsim comeback in Street Fighter. Right, right. He's a zoner, by the way. Ah, uh, yep, racking up, letting all that gray damage build up, and that stand roundhouse did so much. Stun is mounting. He was here before last round, though. Mm hmm. Backing off, throwing fireballs. Ah, I love the down medium punch there. Just getting into range so that he can anti air appropriately, keep that space that he wants. Samurai's still doing okay. He's got V trigger here. Oh my gosh. Oh, damn. Okay, that's a buff love it and here comes the patience he knows he doesn't have to overextend he's got 50 seconds to work with he doesn't have to give f champ the opportunity to tie his noose gotta love the crouch walk that was intense yeah oh my god i love the fireball there is a poke and he he had done so much in conditioning f champ into thinking that he can just hover in these spaces for free uncontested and then he finally picked the right spot the right time to jump in and clip him when he tried to go for that v skill 2 charge Oh man, and there's that buff that gives Ryu so much mileage being able to combo into Tatsu from crouching characters. Oh, I like the viewer reversal there. And look at that, the stun is still working up. Oh, there, there it is. is, the Tatsu that I was talking yes, about. Absolutely. My man read him like a book, called it out from downtown, and got the stun. That was so sick. He chased him down like a bloodhound. And that's a huge point for Team 8 on Strider. They were down 10 to 8, now it's 10 to 9. Losing that could have been devastating. To be down three points in this in this exhibition right. at this point in the contest mm -hmm. would be really rough. Yep. Uh, a really rough, rough spot to try to come back from. So fortunately, they were able to climb back just a bit.
right? And again, you know, just just to remind everybody, this is a first to five. The last two sets are first to five, so we have a lot of games to play potentially. And if anybody's going to be able to make adaptations, it's the players in this division and the one following. We're seeing a similar cadence that we keep oh seeing is that God. Samurai keeps getting ahead every round. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tried ah, again. again. But the, who cares? It's not even that big of a punish. He delay rised. I love it. Using the V shift break, that's safe. He's out of V meter now, but look the life lead. You know, he only needs one jab or one stand medium punch, and he's going to close this out. Samurai is getting loose on the dance floor right now, if you ask me. <laughs> oh my God. He ran up. through the fire. He did his fire walk, his feet were just fine, and he got the throw. Starting off, was that a Dragon Punch trade? Uh, I'm not sure, I honestly can't remember. Everything happened so fast. Oh, no, the beginning of the round, that was insane. <laughs> okay. Trying to close the distance here. And F-Champ is doing what he can to remain composed and keep this distance that Dalsim wants. There's that and he's going to need to keep his composure, and he's going to need to find a way to get Samurai to calm down because this current uh, speed of action is not favoring him. Right. And, you know, you have to consider that even in uh, F-Champ's absence, Samurai gets a ton of practice against two incredibly strong Dalsims in Commander Jesse and Dank Adias. So for him to have, you know, he's got that experience on lock. Even if it's another Dalsim that plays different, he knows how to fight the archetype. Yeah, that's a good point. There is a high experience level. Okay. Oh, this is... Oh, he's super dead. Big. Super dead. Yeah, that's a ton of damage. Dalsim doesn't have a lot of life. That's another game for Samurai. That is three to one in the set, but more importantly... They should, they should deduct a point for that. <laughs> they shouldn't deduct a point for that. God damn. All right. The burns. Yeah. <laughs> Even more of a burn. It's tied. It's 10 to 10. Yo, hey, Brian, Big Brian F in the chat. Thank you so much, homie. And Sejam? Oh, wait, nope. I think somebody's just talking shit. I think that's the meme. <laughs> yeah. Because I, isn't it isn't the meme that everybody gets mistaken right. for Sejam? Yeah. <laughs> Big thank you. Big thank you, yes. Brian F. Okay, gets a forward throw. Uh, that's, again, not the worst punish, right? You, you're able to take big risks against that, or against Dalsim like that, because his punishes are not as damaging as a lot of other characters. Unless, of course, they're going to do the Twitter clip, uh, you know, meaty slide combos. Yeah, also with that life deficit, that's, I don't know if that's the time to be doing, doing it. When he's doing it with a life lead, different situation, in my opinion. Okay, there's the crush counter sweep, dashing to the corner to get the space control. No option select ready for the V-ship, but that's okay. Ryu, oh, this is scary. He's, oh. oh my god, that could have been a confirm into super. Champ ready for the dash that time. Okay, now look at all the gray life. He is cooking. My man is on the barbecue. He's One got touch. Him marked. Oh, when's it gonna come? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so tense. The yoga sniper has not come yet. Oh my gosh. Oh, there, it, there, it is. Is. there it is. You called it. Good shit. You know how hard is that? Like, I couldn't die. <laughs> I know, I know. This is like, Ring is the hardest shot of the fight. That was, that was so intense. More another, tattoo. Yeah, another, another misconfirm. I wonder if maybe there's a little bit of rollback on Samurai's side. Okay. Oh, that's a great Those, point. Could be, could be a miss execution and not, uh, or a bad confirm, like you said. Okay. Trying to close the distance there. Didn't get the frame trap with the slide and using that V skill two so well. It's a really interesting choice in this matchup. Now, uh, V-Skill 1 from Dalsim did get nerfed pretty bad. Um, uh, they gave it the counter hit state when it's hit in the air. So if you catch them, it gives you huge juggle opportunities and a ton of damage. He's super dead off this. And there we see Samurai taking big momentum, winning that round. Looking to take the lead back for Team 801 Strider. Absolutely. Oh my god. The whip punch. And look at that. Wow. The double dash forward into the V skill 2. The confirm off the low forward. And he tried for another big bet. My man is looking for that mental damage right now. He is. And it seems to be working. Even though they're not necessarily connecting, the mental damage is real. Jumping in. No, no dice on the sweep. But again, that's fine. The punish isn't that consequential. Not with what Ryu can do if he gets the right read. F-Champ walking forward, using that bouncing fireball to control space in ways that other fireballs cannot. He's not keeping up in damage, though. He's going to have to do a bit more here. Okay, yep. Saw that the lights didn't confirm. Held is special. 
Very nice staggered walk up for the throw. Oh, Gets him with the shimmy. Yep. Round game, Samurai. That is the lead for Team Ido and Strider. You reach, I teach. Samurai has been saying that for years now. So now, Samurai, again, now yeah. with four points on the set. Mm -hmm. So he could potentially close it out this next game and get F-Champ out of the arena. Right, okay. And I, I think F-Champ is just trying to take a little bit of a breather here. Um, you know, we could see... We could see a point expenditure to change characters. Um, Actually, looks I, like we're not. They both readied up, so I think yeah. what you said about them taking a moment was probably mm -hmm. accurate. Sure, sure. And, you know, that's that's a super common thing for for any level of player, right? Uh, but it's, it's very important to give yourself the time that you can try and recollect, try and center yourself, and maybe shake off some nerves, shake off some pressure, uh, and... You know, a, a player like F-Champ has been, he's been in EVO top eight. He's been, you know, a Marvel champion for EVO. Uh, you know, he's he is of the highest level players in the world. So he absolutely can come back from this. But Samurai's maybe not even giving him the chance. We've seen a few instant beginning of the round reads happen like that. And I believe Samurai has been coming out on top. Oh man, the empty jump low. And just look at him laying on the pressure. It's so thick. And again, using that V skill, and all you get is the stand short. Oh, I love the V reversal there. Offensive V reversal, shades of Karen, keeping this corner, keeping the gray damage there. But F Champ gets the right time to use the teleport. Just like that, Mikey takes his turn back, jumps out of the corner, gets the forward throw. I did like the use of V trigger, sort of a fog of war to get a teleport out of there. Ooh, okay. Dashing up, and he gets clipped. Combos the into the fireball. Yes, I love it. The awareness. Oh, that's... Oh, he's not quite dead. It was made safe. Oh, I love the EX there. And the... Oh, my gosh. Using the fireball from that range after the clash of the two EXs to be your own long-range poke against zoning Dalsim. I love it. Living on the edge. This is an intense set. This is so much fun. Cord Fierce. Okay, yep, using the stand roundhouse to get that long range punish on the dash. Okay, low forward fireball. Ah, that's a good trade for Samurai. It was, and the life is close to even here. Mm -hmm. It's working on it. Oh, I love that. He didn't move at all, didn't give him the opportunity to try and, uh, you know, take some space back. Made him fall on the fireball. Good, good slide. Ooh. X fireball, get the true block string. Another empty jump low. Mm -hmm. And now he gets the throw game mix up. How long are you going to block for, my friend? Take the throw. I like the V reversal to negate the advantage. Man, look at oh, this. He's getting in the fire. He's on fire. Yes, he's cooking him. One touch. He oh, got it. it. There it is. And again, that's that's the mix up against Dalsim, right? When you are down to your last breath, your death rattle. You have to find out, is it going to be high or is it going to be low? Oh, absolutely, that composure. So intense. It is now tied 11 to 11. Man, I can't, yeah, I can't believe how tense this is. Just an absolute back and forth battle. It's been that way this whole set, this whole exhibition. And we are going into, again, this is still uh, still set point for Samurai. If he wins this game, he will take it over uh, F-Champ and put 801 Strider's team in the lead. Good point. We can't forget that. That at this point, Samurai is still up four to two in games. He could still have an excellent set for his team if he could close it out here. Okay, nice. Gets the conversion off the slide. Lets him cook a little bit. And you know, there 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 have only been a couple instances where F Champ has really gotten a ton of gray life capitalization off of the V trigger. But what's more important is getting the opportunity to charge up that V skill too, getting the opportunity to breathe in neutral and set up that fireball game. He is. He's doing a better job of that, especially the last couple of games, which he's been able to come back just a bit. Okay. Now, again, this is a tough situation for Samurai, and I love the early jump roundhouse. I love the view reversal there. Now he's using his opportunity, and he blocks it, and he blocks Ooh. it. Oh, my God. The dash up medium Tatsu to close it out. He knew that if he tried to get the punish, otherwise he might be able to land in time and block. Samurai is on something else. The awareness is next level. It's got it that Mamba is. mentality. 
And he's looking at a set win here. Uh, we are on set point for Samurai. And just, you know, this is not a matchup that is easy for Ryu. Traditionally, this is a matchup Ryu loses bad. Any Shoto loses relatively bad against Dalsen. And this is against F-Champ, one of the best Dalsons in the world in the history of fighting games. And Samurai is just showing that he came to play today. He did his homework and he is ready to take this thing. He's really working on it. It's even life though. Oh, and even the down jab on the whiff punish crouching, uh, uh, crouching medium punch or crouching jab, excuse me. It just, you know, every little thing counts and he's making it work. It is the subtle things to appreciate. Oh, I love it. Using the flow. Oh, and that's that's actually an important thing that I wasn't even paying attention to. We are seeing the V skill switch from, um, we did see the V skill switch from F champ. Okay, oh, this point. is potentially it. He chose the right time to slide, gets the air reset, letting him cook a little bit. Here's a chance. Oh, yes. F champ okay. staying back to try to keep him in the fire. Oh. Yep. He was so ready. So ready. F champ had to try and make something happen, and Samurai was prepared on another level.